up y'all my name is Patrick Ryan and today I'm going to be reviewing a product. This is a product that was brought to my attention by one of the Crossforge Gaming board members, Jimmy. He said he liked the way that it looked and he watched a couple of reviews on it and he said that he thought it would really help us out with our production and our streaming and stuff so he sent me one which was a really cool thing for him to do so while I did get this for no money out of my own pocket and I want to disclose that we paid for this Crossword Gaming paid for this the company that makes this did not pay for this in any way this is not a sponsored spot at all although that would be freaking awesome but that's only gonna happen if we grow and we will grow if you click the like button or even the dislike button and share it with your friends and visit us on patreon and all that stuff all of that depends on you guys and we're really 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 grateful for all the times that you do share our stuff and and things like that so i'm actually going to do an unboxing and by unboxing i mean literally i'm going to take this out of the complete package this is how it showed up to me it showed up uh by usps in the mail from amazon so let's uh let's go ahead and get into it and find out what it is although if you read the title of the video you probably already know this is the elgato stream deck if you're not familiar with it it is basically a little tablet sort of computer with these buttons on it and the buttons are completely programmable now it's designed for streamers and things like that but you can program it to be hotkeys for games or what I'm probably going to use it mostly for is hotkeys for Photoshop and Premiere and After Effects and, and all that stuff. So I'm realizing as I look at this that it's taped shut and I don't hey, – hang on, I got a pen right here that I can use to hopefully cut that. Oh, maybe not. Um, dadgummit, why didn't I – why don't I – hang on, do I have my keys? No. Because I have a knife attached to my keys, but that's not going to help me. Um, maybe this will work. It's, I doubt it, but who knows. Oh, well, yep, okay, that, it worked enough to get the tape off. Oh, and I damaged the box. Anyway, uh, oh, there's a little packing slip. So let's, all right, I got it, I got it open. Just so you know, it's not that the package is hard to open. It's that I did not come prepared to do this like I should have. All right, so um, you get it open uh, right away. This this little thing actually actually fell out. It was it was just sitting here on top. But but this this is the product in there. Um, you get it up to the camera. I don't have autofocus on because the autofocus jumps all over the place. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. So here's the unit itself. It's got a you know regular old USB cable. Um, gonna go ahead and say I'm a little disappointed that the USB cable doesn't come out of the back of this, and that's mostly because if something happens to this cable, my only options are to either buy a new one or I guess if I got really brave and decided I wanted to be smart, I could possibly go cut another USB cable and. And, and do do it here but I'm I'm not that I'm, I'm not that good I'm a I'm a pretty regular aside from that the the build quality is really good this is metal it's not plastic at all um, now the buttons of course are plastic they're they're clear plastic and that is because when I get this thing set up and get it programmed I'll actually be able to put little pictures in in here of what it's going to be so if i'm using adobe premiere i could have a, a play button and i don't know why i would do that play is spacebar on the keyboard and it's plenty big but you know if i wanted to switch my tools i could put pictures of the tools in here if i set it up for obs or xsplit i use xsplit but i know a lot of people use obs because it, it is free um i can actually put different scenes different kinds of effects in here so this will this will be really neat now there's another piece in here, and it is this little stand. And the stand, so the the thing was actually sitting in the stand when it was in the box. So it goes in there like that. I mean, uh, my, I got to get a better microphone set up here. So you you pull that out just like that here. Let me let me get back here. So you you see a little groove there, and that just slips right down in there. And uh, that's pretty neat. Um. If for some reason I didn't want to use this, I would like to point out, and I know this is something that 
Uh, a lot of people probably don't have laying around the house because it wasn't a very popular thing. But I have actually found that the, the standalone stand for my Wii U gamepad, so not the charger one, but the, the just the regular plastic stand that doesn't have any of the charging guts that came with the premium bundle, and I guess it probably came with every bundle after they got rid of the base model. Uh, this would probably sit pretty nicely in that. I'm just pointing out that if you wanted to use a different stand than the one that it came with, it does look like, for the most part, this would sit quite nicely in there. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this down and bump my microphone and probably make an awful sound for you guys. And let's, let's take a look at the stand. So the, the stand has the Elgato logo in it. And so it folds out like that, and now it's out. And then there's this little, there's this little thing here. And if you, you see right here, well, it looks better that way. There's these little notches that are in there and that appears to be where yep that's where the stand goes in so you can see that right there now there's these little things i'm gonna i guess that's so that if you want it to lay down even further but you yep but you don't want it to be flat so with even though there's only four notches there because you have the two different um pieces of the stand you've actually got quite a bit of flexibility with how far to lay it down so now that that's there we'll go ahead and slap that yep and then and then there it is and it sits right there um another cool thing about this since it is completely programmable i'm gonna go ahead and assume and i, I like I, you just saw i just pulled this out of the box i haven't gotten to play with it yet i'm gonna go ahead and assume that you could program this to do a lot of different things sometimes djs will have little pads next to them and each of the buttons will be a different sound that they want to play and, and I just smacked my microphone again that they want to get to very quickly and that they have to get to pretty often when I worked in television the sound person usually had uh, it was much bigger than this of course but they would have a, a device similar to this and it'd be very big and have different buttons on it and it would play so I worked at a television station that had a news show and you know they would play the uh, the newscast theme song or the um, the announcer saying, you know, welcome to, or not welcome, but, you know, you're watching Channel 3 News, on, you know, on and on and on, and that kind of thing. And, and so this could work for that. Obviously, this is much smaller uh, than, than something that they have. But um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to get a lot of really good use out of this thing for not just streaming, which is actually something that I'm going to be doing less of if you uh have been following patty plays pathetically i'm going to be giving up that stream slot very soon in fact it's possible that i've even given it up by the time that you've seen this video um but i'm going to be doing a lot of production i'll be doing a lot more podcasts and i think that this is going to come in real handy uh just for the sake of it i'll go through the rest of what's of what came in the box so this is actually a quick start guide there's not a whole lot here other than just very basic stuff I do know that if uh, from having seen another review that if you're into making keyboard macros and, and even a lot more complicated things you you can make this thing do almost anything if you know what you're doing and so learning keyboard macros and and other shortcuts is probably going to be something that I'm gonna be diving into so that I can get the absolute most and best out of this little device and then uh finally we have what looks like the uh, you know the the safety stuff like don't dunk it in water don't chew on the usb cable or i don't actually know that any of that is said in here but you know the the silly things that they have to put in there to keep people from suing them because they did something dumb with the product the box actually this foam does not come out of here it is glued in there so this box will never be good for anything other than storing the device itself or something similarly shaped. I am a weirdo, and I do keep all the boxes for my electronic devices because if for some reason down the line, uh, like I move, or which hopefully I'll be doing soon so I can get out of this uh, little situation that I'm in. I move, I can put the thing back in the box that it came in, and I don't have to pack it in something wrapped in newspaper and all that stuff. Or let's say down the line, something better comes out, and I don't want this anymore. I can put it back in the box, and I can sell it. And the box is actually very, very sturdy, so you could throw it into a shed or something, uh, you know, as long as it's not waterproof or, or 
not waterproof. Sheds aren't waterproof. As long as water's not going to get in there or, you know, something like that, it, it would it would last. It's a, it's a pretty decent box. There's, you know, of course, description on the back. So, anyway, that is the Elgato Stream Deck. Evolve your content is what it says on the box. Uh, you're going to find a link to purchase that on Amazon in the link description below. I am going to be doing a full review of this product, but I want to make sure that I spend adequate time with it before I just try and get something out there. Since this is uh, this is this is very new to me, I don't want to just oh yeah, this thing is awesome. You should go buy it, and then I use it a little while later, and then discover oh this thing is a piece of garbage. Why in the world would I want it? I don't think that's going to happen. This thing's getting a lot of really really good reviews, but again, I want to do my due diligence to make sure that I do this right. But if you are interested in getting this and you want to support Crossforge Gaming, we are going to provide a link to that in the description of this video. Once I once, once I get the review ready, I will have it edited, uploaded to YouTube, and I will link to that, and it will probably, let me get my hands right, it'll probably pop up right here, but for now, until I get the review ready, there's nothing there. But when I do get the review ready, it'll just just like that just like a little card if you're interested in anything else that we do here at crossforge gaming check us out on facebook facebook.com slash crossforge gaming facebook.com slash groups slash crossforge gaming please check out our patreon patreon.com slash crossforge gaming we're doing ask me anythings and there's a lot of other cool exclusive patreon stuff i've got a couple of episodes of my playthrough of bayonetta which if you want the full version of those those are exclusive to patreon members uh all the other plebs out there just kidding you guys aren't plebs you guys are awesome uh but the uh the the free content is just going to be a highlight reel of my playthrough of bayonetta so if you want the full thing you got to go there please check us out on twitch we've got a lot of really really great streamers on twitch the happening over there peaches and stream uh ned plays fallout 4 nolan dies is a really 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 good show so anyway thanks for watching i hope you like it please share this video with all of your friends and i will see you later